better than your record? Yeah, 100%, I think so. Um, like I said, we just got to trust the process, keep playing the way we've been playing. And uh, obviously, we wanted a better outcome against Carolina, but they're a really good team, and uh, we, we didn't play good enough at the start, and that cost us the game. Did you guys need a couple of days to reset, deal with frustration, stay patient? What's the, mind, what's the mindset going into tonight after Carolina? Yeah, just uh, like I said, if we play the way we want to play, uh, we have a chance to win every night, and um, obviously, we just got to have to put pressure on them. They're a really good offensive team, but I think the more we have the puck, the less we have to play defense. So uh, we just got to keep playing the way we've been playing. And uh, obviously there's games we liked and get some games we didn't, but uh, we definitely liked more games uh, than we didn't like. Both you and your opponent didn't score in the last game. How hungry you know, do you think the beginning of this game is going to be for scoring? Yeah, I think uh, obviously we just got to play to our game plan, and uh, that's not being hungry uh, to get five goals right away, that's uh, to just keep playing the way we've been playing, uh, play good defensively, and uh, then I think the chance will come. I think we had a lot of chance against Carolina. Um, their goalie played well, and i uh, got to give them credit, but we got to do a better job to get in front of them or score better goals. Yeah, I, um, I talked to him, uh, talked to him probably after the game tonight too, so uh, he's been, ever since I came to the league, he's been there for me. Uh, every time I need some, he was there. Um, saw him on vacation um, uh, a couple of days. So, um, yeah, we're, we're in contact and uh, we talk uh, once in a while, especially during the season, it's hard. But um, he's always been there for me if I need some. Yeah, it's awesome. I mean, uh, obviously, we love playing in front of our fans. And, um, We've been on the road, uh, feel like the whole time we've gone back and forth flying a lot. So it's nice being home and um, obviously um, we want to play good in front of our fans. And um, yeah, I think we've done that for most of the part this year. So uh, hopefully we can keep that going tonight. You're playing against four teams from the West. And there was a time when we were saying that there was a big difference between the style of the East and the style of the West. Do you find a difference between the two conferences and the style of the East? No, I mean, I think every conference has... Uh, Certain teams they play a certain way, but uh, in the end, I like I said, we just got to focus on our game. Obviously, tonight with uh, two of the best players in the league, we got to have an eye out for them. But um, like I said, I think we just got to focus on our game and uh, then we'll be fine. Tim, if you're lined up against uh, McDavid, just what do you think makes him such a strong player in this league, and what's your approach to playing him? I think um, he's just so smart, and uh, obviously his skating is hard to stop, but um, I think him and Leon together, that's when it gets uh, scary. Um, they're just so good together. They've been playing together for a long time, and obviously both of them are so talented. So, um, yeah, like I said, I think, like I said multiple times, I think we just got to focus on our game, and um, obviously you're going to try and don't give him as many power plays and don't give as many chances, and um, then we play our game, we'll be fine. Thomas, si on regarde au classement, vous êtes à peu près au même endroit qu'il y a un an. Une fiche qui est similaire. J'ai l'impression que vous jouez mieux sur la patinoire malgré tout. Est-ce que c'est frustrant justement de, que, que le fait de bien jouer, ça n'égale pas des points? Ou vous dites, on va trust the process, puis tout simplement, les, les choses vont mieux. Non, je pense que tu l'as dit. Je pense que c'est le processus. Je pense que ce serait facile euh, d'être frustré qu'on qu qu ait une fiche de 500. Mais je pense qu'au bout de la ligne, on a le sentiment qu'on joue beaucoup mieux qu'une équipe comme ça. Euh, puis je pense que si tu regardes les matchs, il y a certains matchs qu'on aurait dû gagner, que... Euh, qu'on a dominé de A à Z, puis on n'a pas eu le résultat qu'on voulait, mais ça, ça fait partie de la game de hockey. Fait que je pense c'est juste de continuer de, de se présenter soir après soir, de jouer de la même façon, puis euh, je suis convaincu que les résultats, euh, éventuellement, vont virer de notre côté. C'est un match important quand même pour Tim Stutzler, qui va affronter notamment euh, Léandre Brassard, ouais. notre patriote. Euh, Parle-moi un peu de la progression de Stutzler, notamment défensivement cette saison. Oui, non, c'est énorme. Je pense que c'est Tim, mais je pense que c'est l'équipe au complet. Je pense que c'est tout le monde qui a fait un... Excuse-moi l'anglicisme, mais un commitment à, à jouer dans, dans les deux sens de la patinoire. Puis je pense que euh, c'est là qu'on voit vraiment la différence des, des années euh, passées. C'est vraiment de, euh, de, de se présenter après, soir après soir, puis je pense de, de, de prendre soin de notre zone offensive, de donner le moins de chances possible. Puis je pense qu'on on, l'a vu de plusieurs fois depuis le début de l'année. Il y a plusieurs matchs qu'on n'accorde vraiment pas beaucoup de lancers au filet. Euh, on joue vraiment bien notre zone, puis je pense que de là, c'est facile pour nous avec le, le, le talent qu'on a, avec le, le skill qu'on a dans notre, dans notre alignement. C'est euh, facile de, de, de retourner dans la zone offensive, puis les jeux s'ouvrent, puis de faire des jeux. Euh, mais je pense que c'est sûr qu'on a toujours du chemin à faire, du travail à continuer à s'améliorer. Mais euh, plus qu'on s'enligne vers ce, ce genre de match-là, plus que je pense qu'on va avoir du succès en tant qu'équipe.
last two games. What's the biggest component you want to change about your game tonight? You know what? I think it's 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 on doing the same thing. It's bringing the energy, bring, uh, being competitive, using our speed, and and don't give the other team time and space to to make their plays and feel good about their games. And every night that we've done that so far, we've uh, really liked our, our game. And obviously we didn't always get the result we wanted, but I mean, most of the time I feel like uh, when we play that kind of game and that kind of hockey, we're, we're gonna end up having the result we want. So obviously tonight's a big challenge facing arguably the two best players in the league right now. So, uh, but you know what? I think us as a group is, is, is those challenges, those moments is, uh, are the ones that we wanna face and we wanna be in front of. I was just going to say, in simple terms, is that just all about the process? Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's it'd be easy to get carried away with uh, uh, the wins and losses, but I think we feel as a group the way we've been playing is is uh, going towards the the way that we we like it and we want it. So. Um, you know what, it's just about doing it every single night. And I've said that a lot. I feel like I repeat myself, but it's, it, it really is. It's, we play some good hockey. We bring some energy. We don't give much to the other team. And we've seen it a lot throughout the year so far on uh, a lot of different games. We don't give up a whole lot of shots, a lot of chances. So it's about doing that. And obviously, there's, every night's going to be a different result or a different game. And, uh, but the more that we focus on ourselves and we bring our A game, the better we give ourselves a chance. Yeah, uh, you know they're going to be coming out hard. Uh, obviously, uh, being shot out to the night before, so uh, their big guys are going to be coming and, and being ready to play. So, uh, but it's like I said, I think it, it's us in here. It's it's us being ready for the game. I think if we uh, go out there and don't give these times any time, uh, these guys any time and space to to make their plays, then and we make them defend. I think we'll we'll give ourselves a, a good chance. Well, I think that's also a thing everybody's trying to figure out. But uh, but no, I mean it's his speed, it's his skill, it's uh, how fast he does everything. It's it's um, wish we could say we know how to defend it, but he's he's the best player in the NHL for a reason. Uh, but you know what? No, it's it's like you said, he gains a lot of speed through the neutral zone. It is D zone gets his speed going, so. Uh, it's going to be for us to, to get in his way and cut his speed off and uh, try to manage him as good as we can. Goaltending's been a bit of a struggle recently for you guys. How much of it is building that relationship? I know you played with Forsberg for a while, but with Allmark and just making sure there's that comfort there. Yeah, I mean, it's we're having discussions every day on how to make it easier for him, make it easier for us uh, as defensemen. And um, I'm not worried. We have two great goalies back there. Guys work their bag off every single day. And... Um, and you know what? We, for us as a group, is is on improving our defensive game and making the game as easy as it can be for our goalies. And um, I wouldn't say it's a struggle. Uh, to be honest, I'm not worried at all. We have two very, very good goalies here, and we're very confident in what they can do. Your, your biggest challenge here tonight, Coach? Uh, I mean, there's there's our game that we want to make sure that we're on top of our game. Obviously, Edmonton imposes a different challenge, much like every other team in the league, and. Uh, you know, we'll have a pre-scout for Edmonton, but for me, it starts and finishes with how we play. Travis, when Tim Stutzla now leading your team in scoring, nearing the uh, quarter way of the season. I'm wondering, how has your perception of him changed since the start of training camp when you didn't know uh, too much about him? Uh, I don't know if it's changed at all. Um, I talked a lot about Timmy yesterday in here, and... Uh, He's a very committed player, he, but uh, for his age, he's, he's mature. I think he understands what it, you know, he understands what it takes to win and understands that he has, has ha had to make improvements in his game to become a winning player, and I think he's working hard to do that. His reputation around the league is, you know, speed, rush player, great on the power play. I'm wondering, it, it seems like he's added, um, you know, components of like a, a better cycle game, two-way game like he worked on last year. I'm wondering what can that do for him and what have you seen um, in the, the little components of his game, how they progressed this yeah, season? Yeah, I, I think what you said about what he's known for is what you could almost say about every high-end skilled player that comes in the league. Um, they're known for their rush game, uh, their power play, uh, but you see as the top players mature, they become 
better in all areas. They own the puck more in the offensive zone. Like you said, they cycle the puck and hang on to the puck in the hard areas. They also defend well. There's no better example than the guy that we're playing tonight, uh, how his game's matured over the years. And, uh, you know, you've seen it over the course of time with, you know, dating back to Crosby, Iserman. Like, you see how players mature in the league and eventually win. And, uh, you know, those are conversations that we had with Tim, and he was... He's been very coachable uh, in that dialogue and having open open conversation and, and honest conversation, and he's uh, he's very coachable that way. When you see a player like McDavid, Tim actually mentioned when he's with Dry Saddle, that's what makes it really scary. How do you try to limit those two players? Yeah, it's it's a hot topic every every night in the NHL. Um, this is not something new to Edmonton. It's not something new to the rest of the league. When you play Edmonton, you know you've got two elite players. Uh, sometimes they're on the same line, sometimes they're not. Uh, obviously, there's a game plan that every team comes up with, um, but there's also not getting away from your game and how you, what makes your own team successful. But those two is more about awareness than anything It's about else. a lot of things. Yeah, well, awareness would definitely be one of them. Do you have like, one forward line kind of in mind you see matching against we'll the have to. Wait and see what the magic formula will be. <laughs> it looks like there hasn't been a lot of magic over the years because they keep getting a lot of points. So I expect that uh, Edmonton's going to be a hungry team tonight after their game last night, and much like every good team, and we're going to we're going to be have to be on top of our game. Coach, I'm here for German TV to do a story with Timmy Stützle. Um, how would you describe him as a person? As a person. Uh, very, like I said, he's mature for his age. Uh, hungry to win, hungry to learn, uh, uh, and he's a player that you enjoy coaching. And, and I can say that about a lot of our players. They're, uh, they want to win badly, but they also understand that their game needs to improve for us to win, and they've been very coachable that way. Players have good games, they have bad games. Um, if your goaltenders are struggling, do you say anything to them? Uh, casually. Uh, I think when it comes to the goaltending, uh, you know, I do rely on our goaltending coach um, who has a, you know, in the NHL you find that the goalie coach and, and the goalies have a very unique relationship. Uh, I don't proclaim to be a goaltending guru as far as the art of goaltending. I've said it before, I like the goalies that stop the puck and the ones that don't stop it as much, probably not as much, but uh, I still talk to them every day, say hi get to see how they're feeling. Um, obviously, you know, you know, much like any player, that guys always know when they're playing well and when they're not. And uh, But as far as the coaching goes, I leave that to Petey. This like, isn't a collaborative effort between you and Justin Peters in terms of like, deciding who starts. Yes, it is. It's uh, But again, I lean on him a lot. I think the goalie coaches have a great feel, and that's... Uh, you know, that's their job, is coaching the goalies. It's not my job to coach the goalies. I'm like a lot of head NHL coaches. They're not goalie coaches. And uh, I, I rely on his uh, opinion, and we talk about it. And uh, at the end of the day, we, we come to an agreement. What is keeping uh, Jake Bernard Docker out of the lineup in this situation? Uh, just coach's decision. Uh, I've liked the way Hammers played. I like the way our teams played, and uh, for the most part, and nothing more, nothing less. How, how important is this stretch of four games at home for you guys? Sorry. How important is this stretch of four games at home for you guys? Yeah, it's it's easy to say. Hey, this is a real good good stretch of games that we have to win. Uh, for me, it's let's win tonight. Let's play good tonight. Worry about the next one. It is nice that we're at home for a bit. We've had a lot of one and one travel uh, back and forth where you, you maybe haven't had two feet on the ground, so it'll be good good in that way, but I'm not not thinking about the four games. Uh, our team is worried about just playing tonight. Uh, yeah, it's getting closer. Skated today. Uh, won't play tonight, but he's should should play in the next few games.